Okay, let's see if this thing is on. It is eight o'clock. Here we go. Let's make sure that we are in the right orientation. Because we messed this one up last time. Got the charming giraffe, Nate Bright, Anna Beth, Nutty Rock Chick Art, Linda Plummer, Brandy Cooper, Nutty Rock Chick Art. She says, yes, we're on. And can you hear us too? It's funny, I can't see myself. I'm crazy. Let's refresh this and see what happens. Is this thing on? Hey, and we're in the right orientation. Woo oh my God, you don't know how happy I am that this is actually in the right direction. Right. All right, guys. So, if it hasn't already become apparent, this is not Marcy. Nope. This is not Mixed Media Girl. Nope. This is actually the other M's. Yes. It's Mazzy Art Studios. Studios. Hello, guys. Welcome to Plano, Texas. Yes. And to our studio, which is actually the garage. Yes. Jeremy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm really excited for this. Are you excited? I am excited for this. You say that every time. I. That's because I'm always excited. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> always at 110%, folks. I love it. <laughs> so, um, Marcy, Mixed Media Girl, very kindly asked us once again, even though we botched it up last time, to do another live pour. Yes. And we, of course, immediately said yes. We never say no to anything. Um, and so here we are again, taking over the channel. Um, Jeremy, yes. what are you going to do? I'm doing a paint grenade. Huh, which is what? Which is what is, I uh, layer the cup with uh, paints. Okay. I dirty pour it in here. Okay. I take uh, this cup, I flip it over into the canvas, and I pull this pin that I've stuck into the side of the cup, I pull that out and it releases the suction from the inside of the cup so the paint spreads over the canvas. Huh. And then I tilt it. So it's called a grenade because you've got a pin in here. <laughs> exactly. So you you pull, in the, pull in the pin on the, on the, on the paint grenade I there. I love it, releasing the beast. Yes. Um, I have set up the Lazy Deborah. And anyone that hasn't been to the Massey Art Studio channel will know it as a Lazy Susan, but I don't know any Lazy Susans, but I do know a couple of Lazy Debras. So I nicked my, nicknamed my Lazy Susan the Lazy Debra. Um, so I'm gonna use the Lazy Debra. I'm also using, of course, one of Mixed Media Girls Split Cup. This is the four chamber cup. It has been well used. I absolutely love this thing. You can get this at www.mixedmediagirl.com. It is a fantastically designed, ingenious cup. This thing at the end here, where all the colors mix together, it's like the Porsche of all split cups. So I have every single one of Marcy's cups, in fact. Um, mixedmediagirl.com is where you'll get these cups. And I'm gonna spin mine out on the Lazy Deborah. Right. Jeremy, yes. would you get to telling everyone about these wonderful colors that we picked? Yes, absolutely. So the colors that we have today are, this one is one that Lee actually made up. He mixed it himself. Mm -hmm. um, it is a mix between the yellow oxide and the Naples yellow. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome, sir. Um, we have Arteza white in here. Love it. Titanium white. Titanium. We have, yes, yes, we have Deco Arts Metallics uh, 24 karat gold, which is a staple here at the studio. Deborah Hoffman, I don't know you. I'm not presuming to know that you are, in fact, lazy. It's just I don't know any lazy Susans, so therefore <laughs> it is now a lazy Deborah. Okay. So we have iridescent uh, copper by Goldens mixed with this quinacridone nickel as a gold by Goldens, which gave it this beautiful, lustrous, like coppery, like burnt sienna-ish color. I love the lustrous. Oh, it's there. beautiful. So um, nickel as a gold by Goldens yes. on its own can be a little bit of a bossy color. Yes. When you tame it with a little bit of something else like treasure gold, fire opal. Yes. Or like the iridescent copper by Goldens. Yes. It does turn it into a little bit of an easier to work with color and that shimmer in there is really beautiful. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we have Payne's Gray by Goldens. Okay. I love that one too. Yes. And then finally. Oh, and finally, the Folk Arts Sapphire. Love it. Sapphire. 
So um, just to clear up any confusion for anyone that's just joined, this is not Mixed Media Girl with a sore throat. This is Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studios. We've been asked to hijinks this channel for a good half an hour, so you're going to see us two fools pour instead. Yes, not one pour, but two. Two for the price of well, one. Well, that's actually four. Okay. Two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so you, you can please. Are you going to layer your cup, or are you going to dirty layer? Your cup? I'm going to dirty layer my cup, okay. but first I'm going to flood my canvas. Absolutely, go for it. And you're going to flood that with titanium white. Yes. All right, so as you do that, I'm going to tell everyone what the pouring mix is. Okay, perfect. So um, all of the artists in all of the channels that you will see will definitely have their own pouring mediums and consistencies. Our recipe for this pour is thus. It is 50% Floetrol, it's 25% paint, and 25% Liquitex gloss medium. So, if you were mixing up a cup with six ounces in it, that would be three ounces of Floetrol, one and a half ounces of gloss medium, and one and a half ounces of paint. That consistency for us is good for like ring pours and straight pours. We love it for a flip cup. It's a real sturdy, hearty, thick mix. Now, we also have another consistency and that is 50% Floetrol, 25% paint, and 25% water. And that is really great for your swipes and your Dutch pours. It's a lot thinner of a consistency because you swap out that gloss medium for water. So this one is the thicker consistency, and instead of water, it's got gloss medium in there. And if there was a food analogy, Jeremy, for how thick these paints are, would you say it's that? honey analogy that everyone loves i say it was like yogurt yogurt yes or yogurt where i'm from yes um, i say it's like the the not the thick yogurt not right. the not the greek yogurt but okay. the regular yogurt would you say it's like a yo play cherry yogurt or does it have to be like a vanilla yogurt that doesn't have bits in it um i would say that it doesn't have bits in it okay jeremy doesn't appreciate me playing with him <laughs> he's concentrating on flooding his canvas with <laughs> my, a base coat. My canvas is flooded, yes. And you could see him now, he's blushing. <laughs> because he realises I was messing with him and he just didn't get it. All right. Okay, um, I think you'd better get to um, pouring your cup. But you are yes. going to have to do it atop of your current canvas. Can I move my canvas over? You absolutely it? can. Yeah, 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 for sure. Listen, it's your show, show pony. You can do okay, whatever perfect. you want. So now I'm going to layer my cup. Awesome. So can I just say a quick hello to a couple of people? Absolutely. So if you have not been in and seen our K&K &K Creates site, uh, their YouTube channel, please go and check them out. Adorable mother and daughter pouring some really fantastic pours. And then we've got Crafty Chicken Mom and Evelyn and Kelly and Linda and Lara. Charming, the charming giraffe is here. And Donna Panis, one of our Patreons from our Patreon group, it's Gail's here. Mm. Awesome. MMG is enjoying family time with her family. Oh, uh, nice. Camping. Oh, camping. No less, yes. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't camp, but I'll glamp. So <laughs> as long as you give me like an inside toilet and a fairly sturdy bed, I am there. But if you put me on an air mattress and make me go in a porta potty, yeah, no, you're not going to make it happen. See, and I don't mind that. Yeah, but that's because you grew up in the... Woods. <laughs> I did, in Louisiana. Yeah, and was, I grew up in an industrial town where we had indoor plumbing. What are you doing there, sir? I am dirty layering my cup. Okay. And dirty layering is what? Is whenever you pour the paint from about six inches higher than the cup, so that way the paint pierces the other paint okay. and mixes in. Awesome. And I love how you're pouring into a white kind of base. Yes. We've done this on our channel many times, and we've mixed up the base color that you pour into. White always gives you a really awesome effect. It does. You would think that it makes everything like super pale, but it really doesn't. Now the gold can really take over, so I'm only gonna put a little bit in there. That really was just a little bit. Literal, uh, literally, a little bit. Literally. Literally. Okay. What do you think of that wonderful yellow? I like it. Um, I think it's very, Earth Tony, yeah. you know, Sedona, New Mexico, Arizona. I was thinking hot dog. I was thinking... Mustard? Sandwich. Yeah, I was thinking mustard all the way. 
So you were thinking food and I was thinking land. Exactly. <laughs> isn't, isn't that exactly how it always goes? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Literally. Literally. 115 of you wonderful people have come here to see Marcy Mixed Media Girl pour on her channel and they're like, who the heck is this LaTorkin? Right. <laughs> so um, just a quick announcement again, if you've only just joined us, this is Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studios. Uh, we have our own YouTube channel, but Mama Phoenix Media Girl has very graciously asked us to hijinx the channel today. She's yeah. got some family time yes. on the campsite. I yes. hope you are roasting s'mores. Can I tell everyone that I actually got to do s'mores for the very first time, like, what was it, three weeks ago? Yeah, something like that. We don't have, like, s'mores in England for some reason. It's not, like, a staple for us. Um, and so it's not something I've ever done before, but I absolutely loved it. It was a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, I enjoy food, so that was definitely one of the upsides. Well, that's one thing we both enjoy. Yeah, exactly. We love us some good, some good home cooking. Exactly. Um, okay, so let me stop you for a second. Yeah, because this is more than enough paint. Well, maybe or maybe not. So what size is your canvas? My canvas is a 16 by 16, I believe. And let's tell everyone how we work out how much paint we, we calculate. Yeah, so we take, um, we take a calculator, of course, mm -hmm. and we, you have to uh, multiply the length and the width. Mm -hmm. So if it's 16 by 16, you just say 16 times 16, mm -hmm. and whatever the answer is to that, you divide it by 28. Okay. You always divide it by 28, that never changes. Mm -hmm. But if it was a 28 by 30 inch canvas, you would do 28 times 30, mm -hmm. Divided by 28. And in this instance, when we did that, we get 9 point blah, yeah, blah, blah. blah. We just round up. So it's 10 ounces, and that is a 20 ounce pot. Yes. So uh, you feel free to add more cup to the paint to that cup if you want, but you're there or thereabouts. Yeah. There we go. All right. Are you adding more paint, or are you going to keep it as it is? Um, I might add just a tad bit of more paint in here. A tad bit more? A tad bit more. Go for it. Let's get, let's get a little bit more paint in. Listen, our motto is never undercated. And by that, I normally mean you'll never run out of food if you come and visit me, or if there's paint in my pot, there'll always be a bit too much. So, yeah, um, yeah let's, let's get enough in there that you can tilt it off. Okay, perfect. I think that's going to be enough. And if you haven't visited our channel, one thing you don't know is that even though he wears rubber gloves, Jeremy does not like to get them <laughs> dirty. So you'll constantly find him wiping his rubber gloves yes. all over the pee pads. Yes, exactly. Right? Exactly. He's just realized that he's not wearing his apron. apron. Over so his I'm putting my apron on. Really pretty t-shirt. Yes. I don't want to get anything on my clothes. Gail Duke says, Tad is a little more than a smidgen and a little less than a dash. Well, there you go. We should put that on a t-shirt. We should put that on a t-shirt. That's, that's awesome. And if you look at my cup, you'll see that where I stuck the pin at, nothing is leaking out of there. Bye. So that is really awesome that it does that. <laughs> it doesn't leak. <laughs> it doesn't leak. I agree that it is awesome that the paint does not leak out of the cup. Now, hang on a second. Yes. I, I see you flexing and getting ready here to flip this yes. thing. Are you going to put that onto this covered canvas? I am. Then I'm standing back. Okay. Okay, go hang on a second. Go for it. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa! Okay. That was a 10 out of 10 on the dismount. It's a little off center. It, it does not matter because if they were giving gold medals out to not spill in a ton of paint out of your flip cup, you'd definitely get a gold. I think it's MMG's channel disbarred for being filthy. <laughs> but okay, whatever you say. So, the. Uh, <laughs> The reason why I am letting my cup sit here for a minute is so that way it has all that suction in there, but I'm wanting the paint to, to literally drop to the top of the cup or the, or the canvas. Right. So that way uh, the paint will mix a little bit more with each other. Right. And so that way, whenever I pull the pen, it'll really let out everything. Like it's, and you're gonna really, I think really like this. Yeah, um, it's funny to me that in this technique that you do, you really do get all, every single drop of paint out onto this. Oh canvas. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Marcy has just very sweetly put a link to our channel in the comments oh, and nice. said, let's get these guys to 10,000. We're at almost at 91 and three quarters. So it's like 9,100 and something. 
Yes. And our one year anniversary is August the 17th, so we're yes. desperately trying to get there. Thank you, MMG. Thank you, Marcy. Out. Okay. Is okay. It, time? it is time. So okay. I'm going to pull this pin. Do it in three. Yes. Two. Yes. One. Paint grenade. Kaboom. Boom. It didn't have that. Kaboom. It didn't have that same kind of. We need some sound effects. I know. I know. We need like. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's all you need. Oh my gosh, I'm loving that sapphire blue through here. I knew you would, that's why I threw it oh, in there. It's, a, it's so a, pretty. It, because it's a deco art extreme sheen paint, you're pretty much guaranteed. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry, this is the folk, folk art. This mm. is a folk, folk art, art pearl, but you're still pretty much guaranteed sales with those bad boys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now are you going to. Oh, you did lip it. I love that. Yes. So you can set so that right on the edge of your canvas if you want to make sure that all of the excess paint is dripped out. But actually, show people, show people in the can oh. I don't want it to drip. There's nothing left in that pot at all. Nothing at all. It's because that, that grenade action just gets all that paint out. Right? Yeah, it. totally does. Okay. Oh, I'm loving what's happening here. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to like, I love that there's green in here. And we didn't even make we didn't even put green. Like the blue and the and the, the yellow ochre mm -hmm. that mix that you made blended and it actually has made green. It's funny that. It's so pretty. Isn't that funny? Well yellow and blue make well, green. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Says every Ziploc commercial ever made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay. Yes. So even though we're not on our channel, there's a couple of things that we do. Yes. First off, do you want to torch this one right now or are you gonna wait? Um I'll wait. Okay. So what time is it? It is tilting time. It's tilting time, people at home. If you don't know that, that's what we say on our channel when we're about to tilt. Yes. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to go this way with it. Becky's never seen this pour before. Thank you, Becky. Well, hopefully this is a new one to you. We, Jeremy definitely was the person that, I'm not going to say invented this because it really was something that we've always seen on other people's channels, but we definitely call it the paint grenade. And our dear, dear friend, Mina Villegas R, has just done a massive canvas with four of them. Yeah. And then Jeremy did a canvas with four of them on there, and it was pretty spectacular. 241. Okay. <laughs> Stephanie. That no, was Gail Dugan. Oh, Gail Oh, and <laughs> Chicken Mom. So, guys, I've got to tell you. I love my Jeremy. He's my husband. He's my, he's my partner in studio as well as my partner in life. And um, he gets hyper-focused when he paints. Yes. So, like, you won't hear him talk when he's tilting. He doesn't like to talk when he's pouring paint in his cups. As you've probably guessed, I'm the chatterbox of the two of us. However, on a live stream, I asked Jeremy, what time is it? And he said it's 2.41. because that Instead was, of saying tilting time. That was the actual time. So, anyone that's actually watched the channel then shouts out 2.41 when we say it's tilting time. Because they're just crazy people. Because it's it's really hysterical that I said that's actual time whenever it was tilting time. Listen, <sighs> the reason why we call you the show pony <laughs> is because you're beautiful, talented, and crazy. Oh, thank you so much. I love what's happening. Me too. I just need to get it off of these edges. So tell me what you're thinking while you're doing this. What, you, what is your plan as you're tilting this one out? You might need to go a little bit further. A little bit further? Yeah, just to wrap it up. There you go. Okay. Now let's get it back to center here. So are we moving it to center so that you can move the composition? Yeah. Mick wants to know how we met. We actually met on Facebook. Yes. Of all places. Um, I was in a group that Jeremy was in a group and he posted a picture and I literally slid into his DMs and the polite, family friendly cop message that I sent him was literally hubba hubba, but <laughs> it wasn't particularly that. Um, and he answered and then we chatted and then we FaceTimed and then that was it. Yeah, and that was it. And then the rest is history. I love how this has turned into almost like a topography, topographical, is that the right word? Yes, topographical. To, to, uh, to, <laughs> from above. A topography. From above. Yes. It looks like a scene like looking down onto like sandbanks and water and shenanigans. I love it. Yeah, this is great. 
Okay. Yes. Remember what we said? Yes. In terms of tilting, are you good? Are you done? I am good. Okay. Um, I'm loving this. You've still got a, a lot of edge missing on this side, but are you mm. liking how the composition's arrived? Yeah, you know what, um, there's, I'm hoping that it'll keep running okay. because there's a lot also on this side here, but that's a lot. Yeah, but I mean, we can wrap, grab your edges with a popsicle stick. I mean, yeah, that's not but a problem. still. I don't want you to tilt the composition just to cover the edge. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Like, I'm not going to lose that blue. Okay. I am originally from Manchester in England. I then moved to Edinburgh in Scotland, then to Los Angeles then to San Francisco, and now Dallas, Texas, with the hubs. We both lived in Oakland for a little while before moving out here. Yes, we did. I think that is doing it right. Okay, would you like, would you like to torch this one off? Yes, I would like okay. to torch this one off. Then let's do it. Um, can I show everyone at home? Yes. This is our little torch that we use. It was a gift from uh, one, of our, one of our painting pals. Ooh, oh my, I love that. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, one of the reasons why we torch is because there's bubbles in the paint from whenever you're stirring it and mixing it and whatnot. And when you pour it on the canvas, it, it holds those bubbles. So whenever you torch, it pops them so that way whenever the paint dries, it doesn't leave pock marks in the paint, which it will do if you do not torch it. Yeah, who, who has poured a really stunning composition at home, looked at it, thought it was beautiful, left it to dry, and then come back to it the next day and it looks like it's got chicken box scars or whatever. Oh, yeah. We did it once. We did it once. And then never again, because once. all you really do need to do is just torch that the thing. Yeah. Off. Yes, um, Sandy says nice. it's a beautiful topography. Nailed it again. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, um, did you scrape your edges? I did not get my edges. Let's get your edges real quick and then I'm gonna get you to throw that one on the drying rack. Okay. So that I may set myself up for my pour, if that is okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. What's your favorite technique that you use, Jeremy? Oh, well, my favorite technique would have to be the rect ring. I love that one. And then next is probably this one. I love doing the, the uh, paint grenade. Paint grenade. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I've seen Mixed Media Girl do this on her channel, so I am going to throw down a smackdown. It's going to be a challenge and that is Mixed Media Girl. If you have not done the paint grenade, I would love you to give it a go and see what kind of composition you get. Because I know you have some really wonderful paints that you use. So um, yeah, please give it a go. Now, <clears throat> you just saw me throw down a fresh pad. I'm only doing this for you guys, just so that you have a decent clean view. Normally we would absolutely use the same pads and use them twice. Um, I hope that you can see this and that it's pretty much in focus and in camera. All right. We good? You good, sir? You happy? It's catching up. Okay. I am going to show you what I've got here. So, this is my 16 by 16 inch canvas, but because my spinner, my cake spinner is a little small, what I've done is, to make sure that I don't have any dents in this canvas, is I've put another 16 by 16 upside down so that my work surface is flat. My canvas is pinned and backed so that when I take it off here, it's gonna just you know remain in a really nice composition. Uh, sorry, in a nice position so that I don't ruin my composition. And um, this is how I'm going to spin this one out, and hopefully that's going to work a treat. Yeah. What do you think? Can you see it on the screen? Yeah, it's great. Oh, can I? Yeah. Well, then that's perfect. So, uh, Carol Borecki uh, Artistry says, hey guys, just got my notifications on. I'm a little late. That's fine. Carol, glad you made it. Better late than never. Yeah, we got uh, Lolly Walt Harbor watching from Georgia. Georgia? Where's Georgia in relation to us? 
Georgia is going to be to, if you're looking at the map of the state of, 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 of the United States, yeah. it's to the right. Huh, okay. It's above Florida. Okay, okay, I love it. Yeah. All right. Um, you keep talking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start layering this cup. Now, let me just tell everyone at home that this is MMG's four-chamber split cup. You get this at www.mixedmediagirl.com. I own every single cup. They are an investment. You will use them a gazillion times. This one I've used about 50 times already. They wash really well. If you plunge this into a bucket of water the minute that you've used it and then dispose of that water accordingly as you should with acrylic paints, um, filter it through sand, whatever it is that you guys do, um, this will stay super, super clean. So. Yes. Um, Please invest in these if you haven't already. Hopefully, you will see a really awesome composition as I use this. Uh, we got people from everywhere. Now, I'm going to use the exact same colors that Jeremy did. That's one of the things that we do on our channel is we use the same color paints to show you that you don't need 15,000 shades of red in order to create different compositions. How you layer your cup, the technique that you use, those things are what are gonna give you different compositions, yes. okay? So I'm gonna to get to layering. Uh, Angie's Art is asking, is Marcy away again? Marcy yes. is camping. Marcy's camping right now. Mixed Media Girl actually works about 27 hours a day. And so she's taking a well-earned and long-needed and much-deserved rest with her family camping. Yes. And so we've taken over. We hijinxed for a little while. So Lara Bird asked, why not take the back of the base also? Why not take the back of the base? Yes. So in other words, yeah. So uh, underneath, I guess, and around, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure that I fully understand that one, my love. You, if you are there still, let me know exactly what you mean. Um, because we would love to answer that question because there'll be a reason for it, whatever it is. So I put the blue in the left-hand chamber and I separated it with a little bit of gold. But I'm going to put the quinacridone uh, nickelazole gold that I mixed with the copper into the next chamber. Into the next chamber, I'm going to pour the sapphire, which is a faux car color. But I'm going to separate it with a little bit of titanium. We got people from New York, Costa Rica, Wales. Wales! Um, Nova Scotia. Did I say New York? I said New York. West Virginia, Mississippi. Huh. We have so many people all over from just like... Awesome. You know, it's this is this is the power of Mixed Media Girl's channel and reach. She has such an awesome following. We got Ohio and California, Derby, England. Ah, that's where I have relatives in yeah. Ashbourne in Derby. Idaho, oh, Potato Land. We say Derby, but it's the same way. Um, all right, Jeremy, may I proceed? Yes. Okay, so. One thing that I do love to do is to pour my split cups into a puddle of color. And for this one, I'm gonna pour into a puddle of gold. What this will potentially do is it might give me some cells underneath my colors, but it just also really helps the colors spread onto this canvas. Now I'm gonna ring pour this one, but the reason why it's on my lazy Deborah is because if I need to, I can then kind of move the composition as I'm pouring it out. Um, but I'm gonna to get to, to ringing this one if you don't mind. Yeah, go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah. So we just have more people like chime in and say where they're from. Cape Cod, Australia, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, Southern California, Portland, Oregon, Scotland, Colorado, Seattle, South Carolina. I mean, a two stoplight town in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so we got people from all of more Oklahoma, Arizona, Kentucky. I lived in Edinburgh for a little while, which is my spiritual home. If I ever get removed from the United States, I will go straight back to Edinburgh, one of my favorite places on the earth. Okay, I'm gonna ring pour this. Yes. Let's do this. So I'm moving the canvas as I pour, just that I get a really even distribution of the colors. I like it when you do this. So, 
Um, Laura Bird said, I thought you had placed a stretched canvas on the turntable to properly hold the actual pouring. The canvas on top is taped, but the base. Okay, so I have placed a canvas underneath this canvas, but just because the top of my cake spinner is smaller than the 16 inch canvas. And so I'm not explaining this very well, but what it allows me then to do is keep a flat base on the bottom of this canvas. When I take this one off, Laura, I'll quickly show you um, because I'm not explaining it particularly well. And one thing I really do want to try and do because I'm going to spin this ring pour out is get a really lovely center. So I'm going to start going a little slower at this point. So I got a really interesting question. Janet McCarty said, Jeremy, what jobs have you done? <laughs> There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That was a, that was also a 10 out of 10 on the dismount. Yeah, that was, that's beautiful. Thank you, sir, if I do yeah. say so myself. Okay, so please carry on. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so uh, Janet asked me what jobs have I done. Okay. Well, um, I have been a personal trainer. I've uh, worked in the fashion industry for a long time. Uh, I worked on Rodeo Drive uh, at Armani and, uh, and Tommy Hilfiger and such. Um, I have been a, uh, a um, mortician. mortician, a funeral director. So I've done all kinds of stuff. You worked all in, kinds of stuff. in cabinetry and hardware. Yes, yes, I did. Um, I also did wall upholstery for a okay. long time. Um, yeah, I've done all kinds of stuff. Hello from Chicago, Illinois. A lovely paint grenade. Can't wait to see what you do with the split cup and thanks for sharing. Tara said that. Jeremy lived in Chicago for a little while. I did. I lived in Chicago for like 10 years. You loved it that, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we got... We... Uh, uh, is the canvas underneath still wrapped in plastic? It is. So the yes. canvas is still wrapped in plastic because I'm, you know, dripping paint everywhere. Plus, it doesn't need to not be out of the plastic because all it's doing is giving me a flat surface for this canvas right here. So, yes, the canvas underneath is just as it came from the store. It's got the plastic still on it. My cake spinner is smaller. I'll show you guys as I'm done kind of exactly what I did and the reasons for it because it'll probably be easier if I just show you rather than explaining it because I'm not doing a good job of it. All right, so what I did do is put a flow extender on top of this canvas. And it was the same flow extender that Jeremy used. Why do we use a flow extender? Let me tell you. So if I were to just spin this canvas out without this white base coat on it, without this flow extender around my composition, this pore would still get to the edges of my canvas, but all these wonderful colors would roll over each other and hide all of the rings. By putting down a flow extender, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow the canvas now, the, the composition, I'm sorry, to, to slide, to like flow over the top of my canvas. Yes, exactly. So this white is just plain old, it's, it's actually the white for the flow extender is Artist Loft White, or we use Liquitex Basics White. It's the stuff that you get in the one quart bottles that is super inexpensive, because nine times out of 10, we don't keep it on the canvas, it just gets spun off. So you don't want to use an expensive flow. If I planned on using negative space, then I would definitely use a better brand of paint. But that's not the intention here. Let's touch this one off. of that sapphire. I have forgotten quite how much that is a bossy color. And I think it, it's gonna turn out fine. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So Carol Borecki uh, from Carol Borecki Artistry said that she was in the military for 20 years. Thank you for your service, Thank Carol. you for my, your service, my That's brother. amazing. That's crazy yes. to me. Yes, um, yes. Uh, Shelly O'Malley said, Jack, AKA Jeremy of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shelly O'Malley, I know that you live in Scotland, my love. It's yeah. probably, what is it, like four o'clock in the morning there? I know, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone can't sleep. Well, thank you for being here with us. I hope that we send you to sleep, and I don't mean because we bore you to death, but I hope that after this you can get some well-earned rest.
Okay, that noise in the background is a wonderful fly killer that someone sent us. It was actually one of our Patreons, the Sparkles, because we get a lot of bugs in the garage as we're pouring here in Texas, and every now and again it kills a few of them. Oh. Sonia Malik says that she's the first time in any live stream. Hey, yeah, welcome, and awesome. thank you. I'm so sorry that you thought it was Mixed Media Girl and it's actually us fools instead, but we hope that at least we're entertaining you. Um, all right, Jeremy, I gotta spin this one out before do it dries. Yeah, do it. Spin Keep it. talking and we're not even getting the chance to spin it out. Um, I would stand back. There is a fair amount of flow extender on here. Grab, the, grab the laptop. Go for it. All right, this, this is a top my lazy Deborah. Let's give this one a whirl. And there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> where, she, where she stops, nobody knows. Okay, so even though it was leveled, you can see it's not completely straight because the composition is a little skew -if, but that's okay. We'll fix that by tilting this one out ever so slightly. That blue really did take over, which I kind of thought it might. So I'm going to grab this one and tilt this one down the yeah. canvas a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tad ski, which is an Eastern European tad. Oh, DL Tyler says you boys could get the little puppy pool to spin them in too. Yeah. You absolutely right. can. And that's definitely something that we should. De Jeremy is desperate to try his hand at blooms. That is <laughs> definitely something that we will do. I know. I want to do a bloom so bad. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting those corners. It absolutely is. I actually don't mind spinning this one out a little bit more because I really want to get some of the blue off the canvas and I want to open up this central ring right here. Jeremy's pressed something on the lap. If you just go into there and press the X, that's there. You good, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Jeremy, what are you feeling? I am thinking it's looking stunning. It's crazy how, how much there was that, of that blue on there. I should have remembered that that sapphire, but the sapphire is a looks, really bossy color. Really no, I love it. it. I, I, I'm not complaining about it. It's just I wish that some more of that Prussian would have come through. Yeah. I wouldn't stretch it too much more because you're going to lose it. It'll be all blue if you do that. I, I'm done. You're done? I'm absolutely done. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I, I'm not going to spin this one out anymore. What I hope that you can see and Jeremy, you can tell me if you can even see this on the camera, is that there is layers of both the yellow yeah. and also the quinacridone nickel azul gold running through every single layer of this blue. Um, I really love how that dark Payne's gray is mixed with the gold. Oh, it's looking stunning. So I have no problem with this. Yeah. If, I, if I lift this canvas up, Jeremy, will you remove the Lazy Deborah for me? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. And you can see there, the canvas underneath it. I just want to put this one back down on the shelf. Yep. On the, sorry, on the table. Yeah. Jamie, you pass, um, pass me that one again a second. The tissues? No, no, no. I just wanted to see yeah. The lazy Deborah. All right, so let me show you what I did. If you can see the top of my lazy Deborah is smaller than my canvas. So if I would have just put the canvas on top of the lazy Deborah, what would happen is you would get this lip on the actual the canvas where yeah. the paint wouldn't roll over properly. It would have really affected the composition. So all I did was I placed another canvas that had plastic on the top of it so that when I placed this 16 inch by 16 inch canvas on top, it was flat. So I hope that explained my madness. There was probably yes. an easier way of doing it, but that was just the easiest way for me. Yes. I'm going to torch this one off again. Okay. Okay, real quick. Deborah Hoffman just asked, what's your channel, boys? We are Massey Art Studio. So uh, our channel is Massey Art Studio on YouTube. M-A-S-S-E. M-A-S-S-E. Art Studio. Art Studio. Can I say again, and I promise you guys this, Mixed Media Girl did not say to me that I had to use her cup. And although we on, are on her channel, if you go to my channel, ev at least once every five or six episodes, you will see me use these split cups. If you can see, if you could see, 
these lines that I'm getting even amongst all of this wonderful sapphire that's on here. And that is only because of the way that that split cup is designed. So please, 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 because I know that Mixed Media Girl is always so humble. She doesn't like selling her own products and she doesn't talk about them enough. But I can, and I can tell you that I will never use another split cup again. That is the only one I would ever use. Right. They are really amazing. They are. Um, all right, I've torched this one off and I've gotten all my edges. Jeremy, why do we get our edges? We get our edges because what happens is if you don't get the edges at the bottom here, um, what happens is it'll keep dripping and it'll, and it'll pull, keep pulling the paint off of the top of the canvas down the sides and it'll stretch the, pa the, the paint so thin that it ruins the composition of the painting. And you've just spent all that time and money making this as beautiful as you can get it and then you have something that pulls your paint off. It's kind of silly, really. Yes. All right. Jeremy, have you got anything else to say? Um, no. Uh, we had, hold on real quick. DL Tyler, I'd like to thank you um, for posting Massey Art Studio right there. Thank you. Um, and also The Charming Giraffe, thank you so much for uh, posting. I love that name. name, The Charming I Giraffe, the it's Charming so giraffe. cool. Yes, it's one of my uh, best friends, uh, his like spirit animal. A giraffe, giraffe, absolutely, yes. Yes. Jeff Todd. Um, Okay, so. guys, thank you so much for indulging us. Thank you so much for being here for 40 minutes as you see us pour these two canvases. Mixed Media Girl, thank you so much for asking us back again. We really appreciate it. And to the moderators that have been here helping us out, thank you. It's very much appreciated. If you spent the last 40 minutes of your lives with us here, you didn't need to, and we really do genuinely appreciate we it. We do, absolutely. Um, Marcy and Mixed Media Girl is someone who is absolutely dear to us. We genuinely do love her very much, and um, we appreciate you all coming to her channel regularly and helping to get her to 330,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, it's 330,000, can you believe that? Yeah, totally incredible. And um, craziness. We're trying to get ourselves to 10,000 just now, so if you haven't already, please go check out our channel. Oh, Becky B, thank you so much for that super chat of $10. That's awesome. She said that she loved this. Ah, oh, that's so oh, good. That's so great, thank you. All right, people, we're gonna let you guys go and get on with your Tuesday, what is it, Wednesday evenings. <laughs> <laughs> we, go, we go and premiere on a Tuesday, a Friday, and a Sunday. So that's the reason why I was getting a little confused. Um, Mixed Media Girl, please ask us back again. We would love to be here. Yes. Everyone, thank you for joining us. Have a fantastic evening and we'll let you guys go. Yeah, and um, for everybody that's on our channel, we will see you at our normal, time. normal time on Friday at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock uh, Pacific. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Have a good bye. night.